This right here is a Cummins IS6, and the reason why we have it right here is because it needs an engine overhaul. And that could be the question that many of you have uh, when it is time to do an engine overhaul on my Cummins IS6. And that's a good question because you never know what and uh, when it is the right time to do the overhaul. In this case, this specific Cummins has 700,000 miles on the odometer, but that number varies depending on how this truck, how the engine has been maintained or treated when it is driving over the road. Um, of course, right, uh, doing an overhaul is going to be the same process. It doesn't matter what kind of uh, a gear you have on the Cummins ISX, but um, it, it is a very expensive process. I would say then the overhaul, complete overhaul, it can go from 12,000 all the way to 19,000 depending on the components. Just the cylinder head costs around $5,000 and just some overhaul components are going to cost around $9,000. So it will vary depending on what you do. But anyway, this is going to be a full overhaul with new cylinder head, new pistons, new cylinder liners and all that. The reason why this engine needed an overhaul is because it was consuming a lot of oil. Over the time, um, engines, they start wearing inside and Cummins ISX is not an exception in this case. And it, it also affects uh, Cummins X15s the same way. So the engine, after running 500 miles, it starts requesting one gallon of oil after 1,002 gallons. So it is time to do overhaul. So if you get that kind of issues, it is time to do an overhaul. And another issue you can get is um, coolant consumption. Uh, most of the time when coolant disappears from your tank, your coolant tank starts missing coolant, starts missing coolant. So you probably w wonder where the coolant is going. Uh, oil doesn't have coolant, so that means then it's not going to the lubrication system, but it is not leaking. So there is two possibilities with the engine, with the Cummins ISX engines. Um, the first possibility, which is the first one you have to look at, is the EGR cooler. Most of the time, EGR cooler breaks inside and it starts um, sending coolant to the intake manifold, since the EGR cooler is directly connected to the intake manifold of the truck, of the engine. So it goes directly to the intake manifold and the engine starts burning coolant with no evidence of leak. So that will be, uh, the easiest, um, not the easiest, but the cheapest um, way to repair if that is the issue. But the second second issue will be cylinder head and it's cracked. The cylinder head cracks over the time with Cummins ISX engines. It starts getting a little cracks between the valves. I have videos showing that in the past, so you can see many videos about Cummins ISX or X15s getting cylinder head cracks. So um, that is going to start um, the, it, that is going to be a problem Then you're gonna be missing coolant. After driving like 500 miles, 1000 miles, you will need to add one gallon of coolant and then you add one gallon of coolant and then after driving 1000 miles more, you have to add another gallon of coolant. So if that is the case, it's possible to then the cylinder head is broken. So that will be the major reasons why you have to do a, cylinder, uh, a major overhaul. But that is knowing that the engine is running fine. So the engine rotates, the engine runs and drives. If the engine doesn't rotate, if the engine doesn't run at all because the crankshaft is damaged, of course you have to do an engine overhaul. But remember, to prevent that, you have to replace the main bearings on Cummins ISX. Main bearings and rod bearings. That's a very important repair that you have to do. Drop the oil pan, um, replace the oil, replace the oil pump, replace the uh, rod bearings, replace the connecting, uh, the main bearings, and that will help you with that. But that is a completely separate issue. So if you're getting oil consumption and coolant consumption, you don't supposed to get problems with your crankshaft. I mean, as long as your crankshaft is good. But if your crankshaft is not good, it doesn't matter what kind of problem you have, you have to do the full engine overhaul. So just to, just to keep that in mind, in case you have wondered what I have to do, if I have to do an engine overhaul, 
if I have to do an engine overhaul, what I have to do. So if you don't have any problems with the crankshaft, you do the full overhaul, you replace the bearings. That's something that you have to do anyway. Um, but if you have problems with your crankshaft, then you do the full overhaul anyway, because it will be better if you do it so that way the engine lasts forever, or at least half million miles. In this case, I'm going to show you, we have the cylinder liners and the pistons right here of these uh, cabins. So here we have the pistons and, um, I mean, here we have the cylinder liners and uh, they get wear inside. So the, the area that wears is in here mostly because the explosion, the high compression and the stroke with power happens right at the top. So mostly right here is the one, the area that gets damaged the most. So over the time, it starts getting uh, wear, uh, wear out and you start leaking compression and then you start losing uh, oil because the lubrication system leaves oil right here and that oil gets consumed by the compression and the explosion and the engine running, the pistons, the exhaust, the intake, so the oil always gonna be left there. So here we have the pistons and the, and the, and the connecting rods. And here we have, get closer over here, or just get the camera closer. Here we have a damaged rim. You see how this rim looks? It looks all in a different shape, different color. It doesn't have the normal look that a ring will have. So this ring is letting oil go through right here. And here we have a lot of carbon. See all this carbon is because of oil. Oil is being left in here. And here we have the top ring. And just as the secondary ring, it looks just the same. It looks wear, wear out, see? Completely wear out. And this means then this engine was losing compression. So you wanna have a high crankcase pressure and also oil consumption because the pressure that is being retained by the cylinder uh, with the, by the piston ring is getting released by the same piston ring it goes right here if you want to see it if you wonder how it looks it goes like this see that's the way it goes see this is the piston ring looks when it is inside with the piston you wanna have this gap over here, this gap right here, let's get it uh, right here. And um, it, it is going to have full contact with the cylinder wall and that is going to be part of the compression and then it's going to be retained in here. Now when this wears out completely, oil starts leaking from this area right here, right the edge right here where the cylinder liner and the, p and the piston ring are touching each other and that is when um, it is time to do an overhaul. Of course then if you see, you don't see any gap, it is so tight, but it, the, the gap is big enough to let compression go out. If we measure it, probably we're gonna see the measurement and we're gonna get the specific number and that is going to be a very small number, but it is just good enough to let the compression leak out. So this is how the piston goes in, I mean the piston ring goes in it. Anyway, this is the reason why we are doing an overhaul on this uh, Cummins ISX, but um, this doesn't mean that this will be the reason why you are going to do the overhaul on your Cummins ISX. And see, these are the connecting rods, and this is the reason why it's important every time you do overhaul, replace the connecting rod bearings and the main bearings. See the wear, see this part over here is getting in a different color, these two. So they're supposed to have this color and this look. See this look over here, it's kind of gray and pretty nice looking. But over here, you wanna see some scratches. That is because we are getting wear. And over here we have more wear, which means then all the patricic material that this connecting uh, rod bearing had is completely gone. And we're gonna have the better look of the aluminum, the metal, then it's like this, see? So now we're gonna have metal to metal contact and that is not good. That is when we're gonna start losing oil pressure. And 
is disposable, then the crankshaft doesn't get enough lubrication, and then this bearing is going to start getting in full contact with the bearing, with the connecting uh, with with the crankshaft, and then it's going to weld to the crankshaft, and that's it. The engine is gone. Anyway, uh, just I'll, some um, details about it. It's not something that you have to. Uh, pay attention anyway when you are going to do an overhaul all those components got to be replaced When you buy the overhaul kit you want to have all those components and by the way We have the overhaul kit right there for this truck that is um, a, It comes with most of the components and you need the only component then it doesn't uh, doesn't come with it is the cylinder head the cylinder head is separate uh, and that is uh, like five thousand dollars as i said before but that will depend on you what cylinder head you're gonna get you can get it straight from the dealer or you can go to a secondary um, business where they repair cylinder heads and then you can get the cylinder head from there so that is a decision you can take that will be cheaper to go that route but if your cylinder head is cracked it is just better to go straight to the dealer and get a new one that way you get a new cylinder head in case uh, uh you you i mean that way you don't use the same cylinder head because if you go to other guys to get your cylinder head repair you're still gonna be using the same head and if it's cracked already and as soon as you install on your engine that is going to destroy your engine anyway so that's the reason why it's better to go to the dealer to get a, a exchange um cylinder head so that way you don't get any problems Anyway, um, uh, just details about Cummins, and I know, as I say, uh, most people have the question, and question is, when it is time to do my engine overhaul? And, well, uh, the question, the answer to this question is, like, there is no specific number, there is no specific mileage, there is no specific year when you have to do the overhaul. An overhaul will be based on how the engine is running, and if the engine is running in a very rough condition, it is time to do an overhaul. But if your engine is running in a perfect condition, that it is optional. You still can do an overhaul, but it is not mandatory. That will be optional. There is people, there is persons that are going to ask to do uh, overhaul, even though the engine is running perfectly, but the engine, the truck has so many miles, like let's say 700,000 miles, 800,000 miles, they're getting closer to a million. Engine is still running fine, but it's, they, just, they just say, hey, you know what, anyway, it's gonna break. So I prefer to do it right now, then it's running perfectly with no problems, so I don't get downtime. Because most of, most of the time happens, then the truck is running with no problems, it goes for a trip, 3,000 3, miles, and it comes back and when it comes back it comes broken or it breaks over there and downtime is going to be twice as much and expenses to bring the truck all the way down here it will be way more expensive so that's the reason why some people prefer to do it before it breaks so you don't have any problems maintaining the truck because it will be good anyway anyway if we talk about Original and aftermarket too, that will be another option uh, when you do an overhaul. I will just say the original will be the best way to go, OEM always the best. And the reason why I say to most of my customers is like, okay, this is a 700,000 miles engine and it came from factory with OEM components. So that means that this engine lasted 700,000 miles from factory with the same components. So if you install the same components again, which, is our, which are the OEMs from dealer, that means that this engine can last another 700,000 miles. So that's how it is. I mean, you have to weigh that. When it comes to aftermarket, of course, it can last like two years, three years, but Mileage, I don't know. I mean, like, it will depend on the treatment, too. Because if, if you maintain your engine on lower speeds all the time going uphill, even though then the engine is capable to go way faster, this engine is going to last forever. But, you know, 
recommendations. Anyway, uh, this is all I have for you. And if you wonder if you need an engine overhaul, just check all uh, the things I say. If you don't have oil consumption, if you don't have coolant missing, coolant consumption, and you don't have problems with oil pressure, bearings damage, and you don't have overheating to overheating problems, uh, uh, if you don't have any of that, any of these problems, you, you can be okay if you don't want to do an overhaul. That will be on you if you really want to do it. But um, if you have at least one of these problems, it is time that you start thinking when you have to drop the truck to the shop to do the whole overhaul. Because by the time um, you wait until it breaks, the spends on repairs will be way higher. Right now, we'll say then will be cheaper because it is just this problem. Anyway, we have to do all this part of overhaul. But if you continue on driving, the problem can escalate a little more and can be a, a little more expensive to fix it. So that will be up to you because I know sometimes it's hard, especially when the uh, budget is not um, right to do the overhaul because it's very expensive. So you have to have at least $20,000 to do the overhaul to survive the time that you're going to be waiting for the truck and to start, I mean, that would be like two weeks, one week, two weeks, and then uh, you can make the money back. But you have to wait, right? You have to work. Anyway, uh, this is all. If you have any questions, you uh, just go to the comment section below. You can have the answer to those questions too, so you can use the same comment below to answer those questions. And you want to see the things I'm doing, you can go to Instagram, look for me, Francisco Moya YouTube. You can see different things that I'm doing there. Um, so always important to subscribe to the channel to see more content like this on my channel. Um, there is always videos. You can look all all my videos I have. You have found uh, you gonna find different videos about these trucks. It is very important to share these videos with anybody that is on the road. That way they can have idea on what to do if they have any problems. So subscribe to the channel, like the video, and thank you for watching.